Connect your mailbox with Help Desk. Go to Settings, then Help Desk, and you'll see the Connect Mailbox button. You can connect with your existing email, and this is the option you should choose now. Put in the email below, click Next, and you'll see the instructions. You can choose from popular providers like Gmail or Outlook for specific instructions. The most important part is copying your unique Tidio forwarding address. You're going to use it in just a moment. If you choose another email provider, then you won't get any other instructions, but you will get the forwarding address immediately. Copy it, click Done, and you'll see our mailbox here, labeled as unverified for now. You can always see the instructions again and copy your forwarding address from there. Let's see an example of how you should set up your Gmail forwarding options. Click on Settings, see All Settings, and go to the Forwarding tab. Use the Add a Forwarding Address button and paste the Tidio forwarding address here. A new window will pop up asking you to confirm. You'll get a confirmation. And inside your Tidio Unassigned Tickets folder, you should see a verification email from Gmail. In there, you're going to have to use a special link. Copy it, paste it in your browser, and you'll be able to confirm the connection. Once that's done, go to the Forwarding tab again and make sure that forwarding is actually enabled. If not, then enable it. Paste the Tidio forwarding address once again and save your changes. In your Gmail inbox, you should also see an email sent automatically from Tidio. That's a kind of final verification to see if your forwarding is working. You should see that very same email inside your Tidio tickets folder. A very useful step is to connect your own business domain with Tidio. In settings, scroll down to the domain section and hit connect automatically. Put in the domain you want to connect, click next and you'll see a new window pop up. This is a special app that Tidio uses in order to detect and automatically connect, if possible, with your domain provider. If the app can't detect the provider you're using, you're going to have to connect manually. You'll get all the DNS records here. You're going to have to copy them and paste them correctly in your provider account. It can take up to 48 hours for the domain to get verified and connected fully. Once the domain is verified, you'll see it as verified in the Domains section. The next step is to use your domain for an actual sender address in Tidio. This lets you use your own custom address in order to send ticket messages. Here you can select a default sender address. For now, it's just Tidio. But here you can add your own. Click on Add Sender Address, select Own Domain, and put in your alias. Select the domain you've connected and hit Add. Now you can see the sender address visible here. You can select it as the default. Of course, you can add more addresses like that and select whichever you wish whenever you're writing an email in Tidio. You can see it in a drop down menu in the From section.